Hello folks, time to show some tips and team setups for version 3.7 Spyro Abyss. This one has the tanky elemental beast on floor 12, chamber 3, which soaks up a bunch of time. Then there's also two frost heralds and a hydro herald, which is also a very deadly combo. Anyways, let's begin with floor 11. You get bonuses on normal attacks, and the blessing does delay true damage when using normal attacks as well. For team 1, you want at least one Cryo, Dendro, or Pyro unit. The Pyro can speed up Chamber 1 by burning the Frost Lava Churl shield, but Chamber 1 is the Defend the Pillar stage, so you don't need to worry too much about the time limit. The main reason you want at least one of these three elements is for the Electro Lector in Chamber 2. All three does the same amount of damage to his shield, so having a couple of these will speed things up a lot. No other elemental requirements for Team 1, but a Nemo can help group up enemies and make things even easier. Team 2 should have either Dendro or Cryo. The best teams will be Freeze or Bloom teams, which can perfectly handle all three chambers. Chamber 1 and 2 don't have any elemental weakness, except the little summons from the Eremites, but those are weak anyway so it doesn't matter too much. You want Dendro or Cryo to take care of the two Hydro Heralds in Chamber 3. For the smaller mages, the other elements in Freeze or Bloom will provide all the elemental type coverage needed to quickly break all the shields. On to the fights! 11 1 first half. After starting, go back south since there are three Geo Spectres there. Kill those first, then move on to the solo ones. If you brought an Anemo like I recommended, then you can pull the other three closer to AoE all six down. The next wave are more Spectres and two Mitachuros. Focus on the two Mitachuros first, since they do more damage to the pillar, then go after the Spectres. And the final wave has the Lava Churl. The shield is weakest to Pyro, but Electro does okay damage too. The Aura will increase your stamina usage and put Cryo on you. Not too deadly, but it can be annoying. 11 1 second half. We got two rogues and a Mitachuro. If you destroy the slimes the rogue uses, then they will lose their range abilities, so you can group them up afterwards. These don't have anything else special, just tag all three with an attack so they will focus you for a while instead of attacking the pillar. When all three are defeated, the last wave will spawn three Eremites, two melee and one summoner. Normally, you go after the summoner and let the melees come after you. However, these two melees will go after the pillar instead. So kill the melees first. Don't be like me and ignore them. You can see them beelining it to the pillar and I almost didn't get 3 stars because of this. TLDR, defeat the two melees, then go after the summoner. 11-2 first half. Easy chamber, only one Electro Lector. Use your DPS rotation to drop his health so he goes into the next phase. Once the shield is up, hit it with Cryo, Dendro, or Pyro. All three elements does the same amount of shield damage, so just keep rotating elemental skills and bursts to bring down the shield. The Elector has a lot of ranged attacks, so keep an eye for all the orbs and lightning strikes and dash accordingly. 11 2 second half. 4 mushrooms in wave 1. Run to one of the flying mushrooms to stop it from flying away. I made a mistake here going after the ground at once first. The floaters are more annoying since they can get too high for some characters to hit, so bring them down first to waste less time. Once all 4 are dead, 2 summoners will spawn. Run to either one and attack them until they summon. Then focus on the new summons, since killing them will stun the summoner and greatly reduce their defense. Just go after the pet first, then the pet owner. 11-3 first half. Wave 1 is a simple Ruin Drake. Most melees can still reach it as it floats, but you can bring an archer to hit the weak spot to bring it down faster. There's also a cryo node in the middle that will shield the enemies, and you'll need to remove it every now and then. When you see the pillar pulse from the center, don't waste your burst until you remove the cryo buff from the enemies. For wave 2, we got one mirror maiden. You can actually keep her juggled and stop her from attacking. And if she cannot hit you with her spells, then she cannot go into her immunity phase. Use your smoking six styles to keep her staggered and juggled, and it's another easy win. 11-3 second half is the most annoying one on this floor, but we have seen it before. At the start, run to the other side so all three mages will teleport on you and group up. Then AoE them down with the proper elements. 
Here's a quick ranking for the best elements to hit each shield type. I usually take my time to bring down the last mage, so I have my burst ready for wave 2. Wave 2 has two Hydro Heralds, and I like to bring them down together. Since both are melee, they tend to stick on you so you can AoE for most of the fight. Once they have a shield, your damage no longer matters, just focus on hitting them with Dendro or Cryo. Dendro does more damage to the shield, but Cryo does freeze them and gives you a little breathing room. It just depends on the team you enjoy using. Now on to floor 12. This one is annoying once again, but not because of time wasting bosses. We now got time wasting animals in chamber 3. Anyway, for team 1, bring a good DPS team. Chamber 1 doesn't have elemental counters, chamber 2 is just the dango chicken, and you can use electro or pyro to play with the enrage mechanic, or just not use either of those elements and fight it normally, and chamber 3 is what will waste the most time. Using Hydro or Dendro would disable the beast easier, since one hit with the matching element will break the elemental node, but any team with fast elemental hits works as well. Team 2 has the most annoying encounter. We got 2 Frost and 1 Hydro Herald in Chamber 1. They do a lot of damage, so you'll need a strong healer. For elemental counters, use Pyro or Electro for the Frosty Boys, and Dendro or Cryo for the Hydro Boys. You want at least one character in each of these elemental groups, since this will also speed up Chamber 3. For Chamber 2, it's just a Thunder Manifestation boss. It moves around a lot, but any non-Electro DPS can take it down. And Chamber 3 has the new Baptist boss. His shields will be Cryo, Hydro, then Pyro in this order. And here are the best elements to handle each of these shield types. Try to have a good element for all 3 sets to quickly defeat this boss. If you made a team to counter Chamber 1, then the same team will work for most of Chamber 3 as well. 12, 1, first half. 6 Whoopa Flowers followed by 6 Constructs. Nothing special here, just go after one of them and the other will teleport onto you. Or you can just group them up with Anemo. When one dies, the next one will spawn right away instead of waiting. So just keep doing your DPS rotation until they are all dead. Just relax and rest up for the very annoying second half. 12 1 second half starts with 2 mages, same weakness as usual, and this element tier list also applies for the next wave of Abyss Herald. Build up energy and get ready for the next deadly wave. There are 2 strategies against this group. You can focus them one at a time to reduce the damage you take, but that will greatly slow your kill speed. The better method is to just AoE them all down and force all 3 to go into their shield phase at the same time. You will need a strong healer here since the 3 will do a lot of damage in phase 2. They will also drain your stamina, increase your cooldowns, and freeze you when hit. Make sure to keep an eye on the two frosty boys. They can sync up real nicely if you broke them both at the same time. And when you see the blades flash or go in the air, run away. They are prepping combo attacks or big nukes, and getting hit will make your cooldowns and stamina worse. This was the hardest fight for me. Let me know in the comments if you had trouble here as well, or you were able to nuke them down with a super strong team. 12-2 first half, 1 Dendro Chicken. If you want the full detailed guide, check out my dedicated video with the top right card icon thingy. There's 3 methods on this boss fight. 1. Hit it with the Electro and have it tire itself out for a nice 15 second DPS window. 2. Hit it with Pyro to do constant dots, but there's gonna be more annoying boss patterns. Or 3. Use neither of these elements and beat the boss normally. We have seen this chicken in the Spiral Abyss before, and nothing has changed this time around. 12 2 second half has the Thunder Manifestation. This was also a previous Spiral Abyss boss, and those around back then for Inazuma will remember this boss well since Raiden Shogun needs these materials. I also have a dedicated guide for this purple bat, so check that out if you're having trouble. At the beginning, just run and get some free damage. There are safe spots depending on how much the boss has enraged, but at this point, just ignore it and fight through the AoE. The most painful attack is the electric walls, so make sure to dodge through it or run out to not get potentially one shot. Its other attacks are pretty easy to deal with, and since you already have a strong healer from the last fight, just ignore the lightning pillars and storms and just keep hitting and healing. 12 3 first half. This one is fairly easy, but wastes a lot of time. We got 4 tanky beasts to deal with. The fastest way to kill them is to run to the edge so you don't slide everywhere, then AoE them down. 
The camera can get wonky when they push you around, but it's still faster than fighting in the middle of the arena. The biggest tip is to keep an eye out for their elemental attack. When you see a blue or green circle on the ground, look for the elemental node that will spawn shortly. Drop everything and hit these nodes with elemental attacks to break it. It takes one attack with the matching element, or six attacks with other elements to destroy this node. And once it's destroyed, the beast gets stunned and has less defense. Use this chance to do big damage, and repeat this for all four beasts until they are done. Twelve three second half is the debut of the new Baptist boss for the Spiral Abyss. However, this boss is a joke if you came prepared. I have a full guide on how to break his shields and perma stunning him on my boss video. In this Spiral Abyss, his shields are Cryo, Hydro, Pyro, in that order. Here's the handy chart again, showing the best elements to hit each shield. You will need two to four attacks to break the shield, and once all three are broken. You get 12 seconds to do damage. Don't waste your burst to break the shields, unless it's the pyro shield at the end. Once the boss recovers, we repeat the same steps again. Pretty easy fight to finish up the spiral abyss. And that's a wrap for the 3.7 guide. As always, thanks for tuning in all the way to the end. Leave a like if these tips are helpful, and have fun out there traveler.